Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. It is day five of seven days of eyeshadow challenge that I've been doing. Um, I have been using the Ether Beauty Moonlight Crystal Palette that we just got in store to create seven unique looks featuring pops of color. It's been a great way to start the new year. I have just been in like cloud nine of makeup looks. I love personally doing my makeup. So this has been a super fun challenge. I just feel like start the new year with you guys and create some really unique, fun, vibrant, colorful looks. So today we are going, let me show you the inspo picture. This was on my mood board, and I feel like we have to do this look. It's bold, but it could be so fun, and you have all the colors in the palette to do it. So this features like a peacocky eye. Um, it's got obviously the deep purples, lilacs, and even a hint of like yellow in there. Um, and then we've got that teal and emerald on the center, and we're going for it. We're going all out. So. Let's go ahead and get right started into the today's eyeshadow look. I'm gonna start by taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to use the Joshua Tree palette um, just to prep my lids. Like I've said a few times during, um, I'm gonna move my mirror. I've said a, a few times this week, this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Um, it's actually uh, discontinued on her website and we only have a few left in store before they're gone but it seriously has all the perfect mattes and even some fun pops of color to prep your lid um, for tons of different looks so I want to go ahead and add a <clears throat> add a base to my eyeshadow so I'm just kind of like sweeping this everywhere and I'm gonna go ahead and pull and push this up too so this helps create that um, kind of like transition into our complexion look by using a transition shade and pulling it um, kind of this far out. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I always love to do that when I'm doing my own personal makeup. And then next I'm gonna take this yellow shade in the Joshua Tree palette and use this to carve out my crease and I'm gonna take it pretty high too. I don't want it to be like super bold so I'm gonna keep the application of it pretty light and then go in once I've got the pigment down and the windshield wiper motions and then next I'm gonna build up the color a little bit and I'm gonna start off by going with the softest, most palest purple in the palette and on my fluffy blending brush I'm gonna pick some of that pigment up and just start by windshield wipering this across the crease, again, I'm kind of just like subtly building this peacocky eye because I feel like the more work you do to build the color, the less work you do. So if you start going in with some of those like bolder shades and not prepping and transitioning your eyelids, the more blending work you're gonna eventually have to do um, to get the look to look right. So. It might seem pointless to be adding these colors, but once the whole look comes together, I feel like it always looks better when you have a properly blended and transitioned eye. So let's go ahead and thumb through with the kind of like second to um, darkest pale pastel -y purple in the palette. And I'm gonna start by applying this right on the crease area. So as you can tell, the color is starting to build. Next, I'm gonna take this like electric purple in the palette, and this I'm going in with an angled fluffy brush, and this is the one that I'm going to press right on the outer part of my eye and the inner. So we're gonna leave the center completely blank and not apply any color right there. I'm gonna take my clean fluffy brush and with the blending brush just kind of go in and blend this out just a little bit so it looks again super seamless if you lost any color or like build up you can always just kind of go back in and pop it right back in place 
<clears throat> Next, I'm going to fill in the center of my eye with this beautiful teal shade, and we're gonna pop it right here in the center. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm already feeling it. Going back with the fluffy brush, the clean fluffy brush that I have, and we're just gonna blend it so you don't see like any harsh lines anywhere. Next, I'm gonna take a little small dome brush and I'm gonna start adding a little bit of color to the bottom lash. Next, I'm gonna wet my brush down with a little bit of setting spray and I'm using that fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna be going in with that gorgeous mermaidy green color. Oh, see the peacock eyeshadow is coming to play. this dry down a little bit and then I'm going to take this silver color that's in the palette right here and I'm going to pop it right here on the center most part of the lid and then drag that color out wow that is so gorgeous again I'm going to take just like my little fluffy brush that I had that green color on and then just go in and blend it in. That is so pretty. For the most center part of my eyelid, I'm actually gonna take that frosted pink shade that's in the palette, and I'm gonna pop it right on the inner corner. I'm lining my underline with a little bit of a white liner. Next, I'm gonna take a liquid liner, and I'm going to apply this right on Guys, what? It looks so good. I love this look. This is our finished peacock eye. I think it's super fun. It's a little bit more natural, <laughs> more natural looking than the inspo picture, but I kind of wanted it to be because I'm having like a casual day at the store, but you could definitely build the color up a little bit more and I feel like get like a super intense peacock eye, but like, I feel like a natural peacock in the wild. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, we still have two more looks to do this week and I am super excited. I'm saving the best for last. Um, and I just can't wait to recreate them over the next few days. I hope that you guys have been enjoying these tips and tricks. And if you haven't, you can snag the Ether Moonlight palette in our online shop um, and be able to recreate all these super fun spring looks. I hope that you guys are having a clean beauty day out there. And if you're local, come see me at the store. If you're not, follow us on Instagram and all the social medias and leave us comments and DM us. Me and my mom are always checking DMs. I hope you guys have a clean beauty day and I'll see you guys over the next few days on our tutorials.